Well, it's about 4.15 in the morning. Um, getting ready to head out. We're going to go do some steelhead fishing this morning. I think we're going to end up hitting the uh, south fork of the Coquille. It's still a little early yet, but they should be there. We should be catching some good fish there. Uh, it sounds like my my buddy Brian and his son are both going to be going. So it should be a a good day. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's a river. It's about an hour and a half away from me. So got to get driving, we'll meet up with them, and then we'll drop the boat, or drop the shuttle rig back and forth and uh, move some kayaks around. I, I don't know, I have not seen another kayak on this river. Uh, I've seen some pontoon boats, but most of the time it's all drift boats, most of the time it's all guides. So we'll probably be fishing around a bunch of, bunch of guides. But uh, it's okay, I've been yelled at before. So we'll see you when we get there. Ships on vigor of the waves are skimming, barren summits to the verdant plains. Each horizon is a new beginning. Rise, shall to rain. Far from the fjords and the ice cold currents, raving soar of the new frontiers. Songs and sagas of a fate determined. Shields and spears. Vows of favor or the thrill of thunder Born together for the clan and kin Clank of hammers and the crash of thunder Bound with him oh, The echoes of eternity oh, The hella calling me oh, man. So here we go South Fork the Coquille River, heading down. Go do some fishing here. I'm getting too fat and sassy for this suit yeah so this is all you want to kind of fish the seam that you're sitting on right here if we're to fish it What I'm trying to show here is the bobber was getting what we call nervous. It There's definitely a fish that was playing with it. Don't know exactly what it was doing. Thinking that we had a lot of trout and we saw a lot of this throughout this whole trip. My bobber got pretty nervous up there. 
I think I had a trout bump, bump in me. It's like, really? Going down now? Yeah, I'm gonna pop down one. And then I'll probably fish. I, I can't remember all the little riffles. I can't remember exactly where they're all at. So as I head down this riffle, it's not a big deal. There's a couple branches or whatnot that are hanging out. Go by this little eddy here, and I see this seam that's over here on my left-hand side. And I was like, ah, man, that seam looks really good. I remember it from last year going down with the drift boat, uh, hooked up a fish right here in this spot last year at one, on one of the trips in the drift boat. So I, I flipped it out there, and now I'm trying to, to back pedal to get the the bobber to catch up with me and in the process of all of this the current takes my kayak throws my kayak sideways so i'm looking for the bobber where's my bobber i'm trying to trying to find that trying to deal with the current and just in time to look up and see this wad of branches come up and there's my bobber it pops up and i'm like oh crap there's a branch right there so then my crap gets hung up into the branch now as i deal with that now i'm hung up i look up and here's a tree coming so i have the pole down between my legs and now just because the current's pushing me so far it gets me hung up into this tree dangerous spot to be in right this is a quick way of flipping your kayak so i push off of the tree but in the process of this my net's behind me so i'm trying to get the pole wrapped around somehow the pole wrapped around my net so now i'm reaching behind me trying to get the net unhooked while i'm coming down finally i get all of that dealt with and it it was just a poop show the whole thing was a poop show <laughs> That really sucked. Jeez. Right there, boys and girls, is one while you wear a life jacket, and two while you tie extra rigs. So I'm sitting down there, I'm retying after all of that. Obviously, I'm huffing and puffing. I was, I'm sorry about all of the, the breathing noises. Um, I have problems with my sinuses and I was also just getting over COVID but besides that we're sitting down there I'm retying and I hear this noise up river and I wasn't quite sure what the noise was it was pretty loud and I looked up and I didn't see anything big so anyway I, I, I retie and I turn the camera off and once I turn the camera off, I get out of the kayak and I go up and I want to fish that slot, that, that seam. I want to fish that some more. So I'm, I'm standing there fishing and I look up the river and this is what I see. What do you need, bud? Paddle. Gotcha. Okay. You got on any under letters or anything? Yeah. I mean, obviously at this point, 
Brian went into the drink. Uh, what happened was as he came down in his kayak in that Jackson Nar, he had his net hanging out and his net got hung up in the tree. And so he got into his son's kayak, the, the other Jackson kayak right there. I think it's a Kilroy. And he paddled up to go get his net. And as he was fiddling with his net, he flipped the kayak. Uh, luckily, he's wearing shark skin. Uh, we wear that out in the ocean quite a bit when we're, when we're out in the ocean. But this is within 15 minutes of the trip. He's obviously soaking wet. He's obviously, you know, he's probably a little bit embarrassed. But uh, he's absolutely bound and determined to get his net at this point. So it's kind of an interesting little chain of events that happens now. Again, I apologize for all of the wheezing and coughing and all of that. I was I, this week. I literally was just getting over COVID, so I had uh, quite the chest cold going on. You could probably still hear it in my narration. And then on top of that, I already deal with uh, problems with my sinuses anyway. So, but yeah, that's what's going on here. Oh, how deep is that right there? That yeah, was pretty deep. You did it good, didn't you? <laughs> sure you want to do that? I'm already so. All right. Why don't you start up a little farther then? I might have to. <laughs> What do you need? Take this gun in your pocket. Your gun? Get your gun out of your pocket. <laughs> Is it a Glock? No. Springfield? Armory? You're yeah, freaking nuts, you know that? Watch the stick below you. <laughs> oh. Got it all on video. <laughs> this is everybody knows it's freaking cold out here but early in the trip we still got a full day of fishing sure you don't want to get going good. i don't want you to get no freaking hypothermia man that soon just dries out a little bit though. <laughs> yeah dry out <laughs> I mean, at this point, the water temperature probably sitting in the high 40s or whatever. It's early in the morning. It's December. Uh, we start down the river. It's still, I mean, it's just barely daylight. It's within the first 15 minutes of our float. And we've got a guy that went in the drink. And, uh, you know, the good thing is, is that he was dressed for it. I know it doesn't appear that way, but he had his shark skins on. Uh, you know, and we were prepared. If we if we needed to, we could have pulled over and started a fire and warmed them up. And obviously, I was more concerned about hypothermia than anything, you know. But it was just an interesting thing. I mean, this is one shoot. We had two vents. I got wound up in that tree just down below right there where you can see it. And then uh, next, 
next trip down, you know, my buddy Brian, we're both experienced on the on the kayaks. We've done it a thousand times. But uh, this is why you wear your safety gear. This is why you wear your life jackets. This is why you wear your your uh, your suits. I, I was wearing a dry suit. Brian had his shark skins on, you know, and uh, it was just a really humbling experience at the time. So the rest of the trip was pretty well like just staring at bobbers and um, that was it. But this, uh, I'll leave you with one last little video and this pretty much sums it up right here. Ow! What? Um, no. But, I tell you what, I jerk like it was. Ships on vigor of the waves are skimming, barren summits to the verdant plains. Each horizon is a new beginning. Rise, Eldrain. Far from the fjords and the ice cold currents, raven soar of the new frontiers. Songs and sagas of a fate determined, shields and spears. Vows of favor or the thrill of plunder, pulled together for the clan and kin. Clank of hammers and the crash of thunder, pound with.